Chelsea, pleasure. So oh my gosh, welcome back. This is great. I think you're just gonna be my regular. Every time I'm in New York, I'm just gonna beg you to be on my show. <laughs> and I will gladly do it. We love you, and thank you for bringing Maven. Maven, thank you for coming back. Yeah. You look beautiful. I, I, you. Personally, I can't believe this. I'm sitting next to the secretary's <laughs> daughter. Have y'all ever I've met? I've got to go back and get my GED now. <laughs> I've got to. This is How what... does this happen? <laughs> So wait, last time you were here, though, you mentioned wanting Maven to, like, meet strong and powerful women. Absolutely. So, well, we, here you go. <laughs> <laughs> so, what, so what are some questions you get from younger women? Well, you know, one of the things, Maven, I'd love to um, ask you, because I get asked this a lot, is when you were little, well, what even, did you... Even younger. Or even younger, because you're growing up, as your dad knows, too fast, right? <laughs> what did you want to be? What, what, people ask me that all the time. What do you, what, what so if I ask you now, what do you want to be? A marine biologist. You want to be your, oh my gosh, Great. that's what my daughter wants to be. That's so cool. And what, when you become a biologist, what do you want to study and learn about? Uh, the ocean. And, oh. uh, and is there a particular animal that you really love in the ocean? Shark. <gasps> Oh my gosh, that's my daughter's favorite animal. <laughs> Who doesn't? Oh my she gosh, has she has a 20,000 gallon shark tank in our backyard. Oh my what? gosh! 14 or 15 sharks what? in there. What? Seriously? Black tips, white tips. Oh okay. my god! Charlotte, turn her. off the television now. <laughs> Charlotte, <laughs> because we live in an apartment here in New York City, <laughs> and we do not have space for. She wanted it. She that's wanted incredible. Study, so I oh put like gosh. eight tanks in the house. I have the shark tank outside the house. She has cone snail from Australia. Oh, boy. Wow. Seven seas in the world, and the cone snail is the most dangerous thing on the planet. One cone snail can so kill a blue whale. So why not have them in your house? Cool. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm so glad like, you've already turned the Who feeds the them? Well, no, <laughs> no, no. No, uh, I have a team of people that come and take care of her tanks so, every day. That's so cool. Oh, my God, you must love aquariums. My kids love aquariums. We well, she's got her own in the backyard. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so some of us don't have huge aquariums in our house, so we have to go to them. Um, I, I, I want to ask you something, though, um, because I heard that you have, like, a, a favorite thing, your definition of bravery, right? What's your, what's your definition? What do, you, what do you think that is, to be brave? Mm, something you do dangerous, but you do it anyways. Yeah. All right, I love that. Yeah. You know why you only get one life? Try, yeah. You have to be brave. She understands that and she knows that. You have to do the things that, it takes a lot of guts to go for your dreams. Mm -hmm. So I want her to know that you have to, because one thing that stops us in our lives is the word if. Mm. What if it doesn't work? Yeah. No, you have to keep going. What if, if it, it does, doesn't yeah. work, you do something else. <clears throat> right, yep. yeah. Were y'all always brave, like growing up? Were you always? Well, I think we tried to be. I mean, I, I think, Part of raising children um, is to, what, give them both roots and wings, right? Mm -hmm. You want them to have those standards, you want them to have those values, but you also want them to be able to take risks, but, you know, ones that are reasonable. And so how do you inculcate that? How do you talk about that? And I think, you know, talking about how you encourage your nine-year-old daughter to frankly, to hang out with sharks, which you know I find, <laughs> I find or pretty, eels. <laughs> pretty brave. Um, yeah, no, I, I I think you learn it, and I think it comes from primarily your family. Sometimes people on the outside, a teacher, a coach, mm -hmm. a, a minister, somebody else can help you, but it really does come from your family. Yeah, I love that you just pointed out something though as well, like. Not all of us, you know, are blessed with great fathers. Like, not all of us are. So what you just said, like, a village can raise a kid. Like, I didn't have that oh experience. God. Like, I know, but I didn't have that experience. A lot of people don't. But what is important is I had, you know, my pastor, Do Dr. Frankie Rainey. He would cut out clippings and send them to me of, like, you know, great job on this solo thing you did and great job. And, and I don't, I think that's important. Like, even if you're not a parent, Support. you can still be a, a father figure or a parental figure in some sense. I love, be a positive, I love that light, you said that. A positive force, a positive I had someone there for me. Yeah. So, Tracy, you are on a comedy tour right now. So, how'd you come up with the name No Disrespect? I'm going to be saying things. I don't want nobody <laughs> taking it the wrong way. <laughs> I'm like, it's it's that the wrong way. I'm gonna tell you how I feel. I'm a grown man. I'm just gonna speak on things. Bring football pads yeah, to my show. Yeah, <laughs> oh my don't God. take it in the wrong way. So yeah. no disrespect. 
before we even get started. No disrespect. But Tracy, can I ask you, because I've been following, um, you know, some comics are getting criticized for saying something a that lot. offends oh, people a, a and all war, of that. A war on free speech? An attack on free speech? Yeah, but, I, but, but how do you think about that? I mean, because I think it's... I think people who are in the public eye um, should have the right... the same right to free speech as anybody yeah, else, to right? to me, you but, gotta be funny. But you gotta be funny about it, yeah. Because anybody could do comedy. Anybody could learn how to tell jokes. But are you funny? Oh, see, that's like singers. Question. See, a lot of people can sing, but everybody but they don't can't move sing. You. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> a lot of I mean, people Kelly, can sing, right? but everybody can't sing. <laughs> Aretha Franklin could sing. Yeah. She I was mean, pretty good. Kelly, I was, I was the kid at the church choir. <laughs> they were always like, you know, we really appreciate Chelsea. She's always on time. <laughs> <laughs> Punctuality. Punctuality. <laughs> also, oh, yeah. maybe she should be on the bells <laughs> next she year. Should pick up an instrument. <laughs> I, like, I think there's like an a, 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 a attack on free speech. I mean, the stage is sacred. You can't. I should be able to say what I want to say up here mm -hmm. on stage. I'm doing stand up. You know what you paid to come see. Right, yeah, right. You knew that before you came in the building. But you in know, a great why point, you attack me. So when Will Smith smacked Chris. I was hurt yeah. not just to see a black man smack another black man on the biggest stage in the world. Right, right. But that, you opened the door for people to think, oh, so if I say something about your wife, mm. you could come up here and assault me? Mm -mm, mm -mm. You can't do that. You couldn't do that to Richard Pryor or George Garlin. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, it's just jokes. Yeah. You know, we, we um, Chelsea and I did a, a series about gutsy women. It's called Gutsy. It's going to... Uh, premiere in September on Apple TV Plus, and we we interviewed women comics, and we did that in part because you know some people still say women can't be funny, and frankly, I uh, I disagree Marshall completely. Warfield? Are you kidding? And you know, and we we interviewed uh, Wanda Sykes, who was telling I us who I, I adore. We interviewed her, and she was telling us about how she'd gone to a big comedy uh, event that was to raise money. For cancer. for cancer. So, I mean, it was a charitable event, but she and a bunch of comics were doing it. And she was the only woman. And they were in Boston, I think. And she, made, she had some jokes about politicians who shall remain nameless. And so she had these jokes. Half the audience laughed and half the audience booed. But the other men who'd been on the stage had also had political jokes. Yeah. And people either laughed or they didn't, but they didn't boo. And Wanda was saying, like, you know, here I am, right? I'm out there, I'm telling these jokes, and I'm a woman telling these jokes, and somehow that produces the booze. I thought that was really interesting. Was and crazy. for your but daughter, that's when I think, like, for my daughter, for your, your kids, your, your kids, like, it's, I want a better world. I don't want women to have to keep dancing. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to dance the, the around it. You know, you should be able to be bold and courageous and female funny. Female soccer and, team. Right? Yeah. Yes, they're much better that's than our men. Big, give them their money. Yes, yes give them their money. <laughs> Give them their money. All right, we have to take another break. Tickets for Tracy's No Disrespect Tour on sale right now. Y'all go online to get yours.